So when I think about Jamie, I think about, it's hard to narrow it down to one thing because she was so athletic, but she was also a great leader. So she was a two-year captain. Um, and in those days, when she was a player here and I was the coach here, we were all part-time coaches. And so I really relied on captains to be the communicators between the athletes on campus all day and me who came in for practice basically because my husband and I were also running a business. So I was stretched in a lot of directions and Jamie fulfilled that job like no other. So I would say leadership number one. And she was one of the players who was the foundation of what Stevenson Women's Lacrosse has become. And that's why we wanted her in the Hall of Fame because she, everybody just realizes Jamie was the player who got us at, got us known, got us some recognition. You know, she was someone who came to us and could have played at a higher level, but chose to stay with us, and, and we love that about her. But um, she was just really a good player and a very dedicated player. She was dedicated to Village Julie College. Um, she could use both hands on the field. She was fast. She was a hard worker. She was determined on the field, so if you had the ball and she was your defender, you probably should watch out for her chasing you down. And she's probably gonna take that ball away from you. Um, and she was really good at communicating with, with the rest of the team on the field as far as keeping people up, directing, telling people where they needed to be, keeping them in the game, keeping their heads up, um, and just was all over, just really good. She was a two-time most valuable player in her junior and senior years as well. And that just describes her to a T, the leadership role and then those most valuable player awards. That was Jamie Hirschner on the field.